Hello everyone and welcome to the set 2 of IEEE 754 solve problems. In this session, we are going to observe a couple of more interesting solve problems. So, without any further ado, let's get to learning. Coming to the outcome of today's session, today we will observe two solve problems on IEEE 754 single precision. Consider the first question. Determine the range of positive floating point numbers represented using fractional form of IEEE 754 single precision format. So basically, we are talking about the positive floating point numbers represented using fractional form, right? So let's try to solve it. Now, if you remember in the previous sessions, we learned that IEEE 754 single precision format has the bit organization like this where the MSB is the sign bit, that is 1 bit. Thereafter, the next 8 bits are dedicated for the exponent. And finally, the last 23 bits are dedicated for the Mentisa part. Now, when we talk about the fractional form, the 8-bit exponent, that is the biased exponent, has to be zeros, that means all zeros. Now, coming to the Mentisa part, 23 Mantisa bits are supposed to have any pattern other than all zeros. In this particular situation, the representation will be of fractional form. And in order to decode that, we are going to use the formula minus 1 raised to the power sine bit multiplied by 0 0.m, that is the 23 bit mantisa, multiplied with 2 raised to the power minus 126. Now, why 2 raised to the power minus 126? Because this is the lowest range of the exponent available using 8 bits in biased exponent form. Now, with the help of this formula and this organization of 754 single precision format, let's now try to figure out the smallest fraction. Now, we are talking about the positive floating point numbers, right? Therefore, the sign bit is supposed to be 0 only. So, we will have minus 1 raised to the power 0, that is the sign bit, which will be multiplied with 0 point. Now, what about the Mentisa part? In the Mentisa part, if you remember, we are supposed to have any of the patterns other than all zeros. Therefore, since we are talking about the smallest fraction in here, we will have the pattern where all the first 22 bits are going to be zeros only, except the LSB, which is going to be 1. Observe, this is a 23-bit pattern, which is not all zeros, and still it is the smallest one. Now, this portion is going to be multiplied with the exponent that is 2 raised to the power minus 126. Now, let's try to determine the outcome of this one. So, this is going to give us 1 only. Now, coming to this fraction, if you observe, this particular bit has the place value 2 raised to the power minus 1. Following that order, can you guess what will be the place value of this LSB? Now, we are using 23 bits in Mentisa, right? So, therefore, the place value of this one is going to be 2 raised to the power minus 23, isn't it? So, as a result, we will obtain 2 raised to the power minus 23 multiplied with 2 raised to the power minus 126. Now, minus 23 plus minus 126 will give us the value minus 149. Therefore, the smallest positive fraction in IEEE 754 single precision format is 2 raised to the power minus 149. Let's now figure out the largest fraction. Now, here also we are talking about the positive floating point numbers. Therefore, we will have minus 1 raised to the power 0 as the sign bit is going to be set as 0. Now, coming to the Mentisa portion, after 0 radix point, this time we are talking about the largest fraction. Therefore, all the 23 bits are going to be 1s only. And this is going to be multiplied with 2 raised to the power minus 126. Now, let's try to determine the value of this one. Now, the place value of this particular bit is 2 raised to the power minus 1. Now, what about the second one? It is 2 raised to the power minus 2. Similarly, the third one has the place value 2 raised to the power minus 3, so on and so forth. And the LSB, that is this one, will have the place value 2 raised to the power minus 23. Therefore, we will obtain a GP series. Now, observe the series carefully. This is 1 by 2, which is nothing but 2 raised to the power minus 1. Coming to the second element, that is 1 by 2 squared, it is also nothing but 2 raised to the power minus 2. Similarly, the last element of the series is 1 by 2 raised to the power 23, which is 2 raised to the power minus 23 only, right? So, this is the GP series that we are going to obtain while determining the value. 
and this particular series will be multiplied with the exponent 2 raised to the power minus 126. Now notice the series bit carefully. Here the first element or a is 1 by 2 or half. Now coming to the common difference or r, that is also half. Now how is so? If we subtract 1 by 2 raised to the power 2 from half, we will obtain half only. Then again, the subtraction between this one and this one will also result in half. Therefore, the common difference is half, which is less than 1, correct? So, applying this formula for GP, we are going to obtain the first element as half, which is A, which will be multiplied with 1 minus the common difference, which is also half in this case raised to the power 23 that is the number of elements in this series now this product is going to be divided by 1 minus the common difference that is half and finally this entire thing will be multiplied with 2 raised to the power minus 126 now 1 minus half is actually half now this half and this half are going to cancel themselves out so we are left with 1 minus 2 raised to the power minus 23 multiplied with 2 raised to the power minus 126. And this is the largest positive fraction in IEEE 754 single precision format. Therefore, if we talk about the range of positive floating point numbers represented using fractional form in IEEE 754 single precision format, the range is going to be 2 raised to the power minus 149 to 1 minus 2 raised to the power minus 23 multiplied with 2 raised to the power minus 126. Let's now move on to the second question. IEEE 754 single precision format is used to store floating point numbers. Determine the value of A minus B where A is the smallest positive number represented by implicit normalized form and B is the largest number represented by the denormalized form. Now notice this question very carefully. Here we are trying to figure out the value of a minus b where a is the smallest positive number in implicit normalized form and b is the largest number in denormalized or fractional form which we have just calculated, haven't we? So let's try to solve this particular question. Now if you remember in case of IEEE 754 single precision format, the formula for implicit normalized form is minus 1 raised to the power the sine bit multiplied with 1.23 bits mantissa, multiplied with 2 raised to the power biased exponent minus the bias 127. Now using this formula, we are going to determine the value of A. Now remember, we are talking about the smallest positive number in implicit normalized form. Therefore, we will have the sign bit as 0 only. Now coming to the mantissa part, we can have all the places filled with zeros. However, in case of the exponent, we cannot have all zeros. Also, since we are talking about the smallest number, therefore the exponent is going to be 1 only. So, the exponent will be 1 minus 127. Now, this will give us the value 1.0 multiplied with 2 raised to the power minus 126, from which we will obtain 2 raised to the power minus 126. Therefore, the value of A is 2 raised to the power minus 126, considering A is the smallest positive number represented by implicit normalized form in IEEE 754 single precision format. Now let's determine the value of B. Now B is supposed to be the largest number represented by the denormalized form. Now we already know the formula for the fractional or denormalized form. It is minus 1 raised to the power of the sine bit multiplied with 0 0.23 bit mantissa multiplied with 2 raised to the power minus 126. Therefore, the value of B will be minus 1 raised to the power 0 multiplied with 0 point all 23 bits will have once only multiplied with 2 raised to the power minus 126 and this value we have just calculated in the previous problem as well so the value that we obtained was 1 minus 2 raised to the power minus 23 multiplied with 2 raised to the power minus 126 now let's calculate a minus b so a is 2 raised to the power minus 126 and the value of b is 1 minus 2 raised to the power minus 23 multiplied with 2 raised to the power minus 126. Observe this. Here we have 2 raised to the power minus 126 common in both the terms. So we can take that common out. So we will obtain 2 raised to the power minus 126 multiplied with 1 minus 1 plus 2 raised to the power minus 23. Now y plus 
because this minus is supposed to change the signs of these two terms. And that is exactly what has happened in here. Now these two ones will cancel themselves out. So we will be left with 2 raised to the power minus 126 multiplied with 2 raised to the power minus 23. Now minus 126 plus minus 23 will give us the value minus 149. Therefore, the value of a minus b is nothing but 2 raised to the power minus 149. So in this session, we observed to solve problems on IEEE 754 single precision format. Alright people, that will be all for this session. In the next session, we will get to know about the binary multiplication. So I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.